The Tesla Cybertruck has a new software update, 2025.38.8.7. We'll go to the release notes, and you can see it has FSD supervised V14.1.7. Self-driving supervised V14.1.7 includes added arrival options for you to select where FSD should park, in a parking lot on the street, in a driveway, in a parking garage, or at the curbside. They added handling to pull over or yield for emergency vehicles like police cars, fire trucks, and ambulances. They also added navigation and routing into the vision-based neural network for real-time handling of blocked roads and detours, added additional speed profile to uh, further customize driving style preference, improved handling for static and dynamic gates, improved offsetting for road debris like tires, tree branches, boxes, improved handling of several scenarios including unprotected turns, lane changes, vehicle cut-ins, and school buses, improved uh, FSD's ability to manage system faults and recover smoothly from degraded operation for enhanced reliability, added alerting for residue buildup on interior windshield that may impact front camera visibility if affected visit service for cleaning upcoming improvements overall smoothness and sentience and parking spot selection and parking quality you can now select an arrival option such as parking lot street driveway parking garage and curbside for robo taxi style drop-offs uh, your preferences for arrival options and preferred parking positions are persisted for each destination a reasoning model will assess the suitable options for your destination and pick an intuitive default speed profiles so fsd supervised will now determine the appropriate speed based on a mix of driver profile speed limit and surrounding traffic introduce new speed profile sloth which uh, comes with lower speeds and more conservative lane selection than chill All right introduce new speed profile Mad Max which comes with higher speeds and more frequent lane changes than hurry driver profile now has a stronger impact on behavior the more assertive the profile the higher the max speed right scroll wheel up and down now adjust speed profile rather than your precise max speed offset selection in miles per hour or kilometers per hour UI improvements you have a start self-driving button now on the screen from park or anytime during your drive. Just settings like speed profile and arrival options directly from autopilot visualization on the center display. Brake confirm for the start. A self-driving button is now defaulted off. When disabled, start self-driving will not require you to press and release the brake to confirm engagement. You can enable brake confirm in autopilot brake confirm. Full self-driving supervised. Under your supervision, full self-driving supervised can drive your Tesla almost anywhere. We'll start from a park position, make lane changes, select forks uh, to follow your navigation route, navigate around other vehicles and objects, make left and right turns and park at your destination. You and anyone you authorize must use additional caution and remain attentive. It does not make your vehicle autonomous. Do not become complacent. Full self-driving supervised is enabled on your vehicle to use the chirp. Press the start self-drive button on the UI or press the right scroll wheel button once. You can Disable full self-driving supervised in autopilot settings. Tron mode, 3D buildings, and all this other stuff is old.